presenting the cant hook my version well, I believe that's a little, I think that's a little tight oh yeah that'll wear right in Just the need to roll a no log, small, warranted the construction of this cant hook. I present it for grade. Oh, it's loosening up now. You know, some days that's about as good as I can do right there. And, uh, but this left me with the question. When I was building this one, I was just pondering in my mind as I was grinding along, sanding, painting, and and I had I had a, I had a, I had, a, I, had a, I had a quiz for myself. The, the quiz was if Grizzly Tools actually had one of these cant hooks in their catalog, what would it look like? Okay, y'all come on back and uh, I'll show you what the Grizzly version of this would look like. That one can hook there from drawing to reality. Your Middle Tennessee shop dog sound. That one can hook right there presented to the world. I was just thinking as I was over yonder. That's them that's them aluminum pieces right there all shined up. And while I was over yonder, I shined these up too. That's them stainless steel washers. That's them big ones. But while I was building that, uh, and right there's some lock nuts. Uh, that, them ain't stainless steel, but these right here is polished up on each end right there. Three sixteens, the number on that. But but as, as I was building that uh, cat hook, my, I had imagination, uh, a pop-up thing was in most seriousness the the thought to me was if grizzly tools had built that cant hook what would it look like you know if they had a cant hook in their catalog i imagine this is what it would look like and i present it for your critique by comment
There's one part. And right here is the other part. Let's put that together. Oh yeah. That's what we're talking about. Trade show quality. That's the wrong bolts right there. It's these over here. A little bit longer. It'll work much better. Oh yeah. Uh, perfectly, I think. Yeah. I also was a wondering, you know, a fleeting thought, not too much time spent pondering the question, but, you know, if Grizzly Tools had this, if they actually made this item and uh, had it in their catalog, how much would they sell it for? What would be the price on it? You know what I mean? This is one of those questions, yeah, about the, the, the you know, the markup, the price, uh, how much, how much money they going to make. But, but you know, you know, I will, I will take uh, homage in that. This right here would be the. Uh, then uh, this would be the show, you know, you know, the one that they took to the trade show to show the. Uh, they, they take this into the trade show to show the prospective buyers what was going to be in the catalog next time. And you could buy one while you was there. I don't, I don't think they could take enough of them when they went. I think it would be a sellout. I'm almost positive, you know, everybody would want one, you know. Uh, you could put one there by the fireplace, you know, for conversation piece. You know, somebody come over to your house. I mean, this is the prototype here. You know, you know what I mean, you, you'd have a copy of this. Yeah, I just turn that in as is for grade. But let's uh, let's get the handle. If Grizzly Tools built a cant hook, I think this is kind of what it would look like.
put a new set of brushes in that thing the other day. That's one of the craftsmen's right there. Been a good one. Still is. Industrial grade. Well, what we at? Let's just braise them parts up. We'll wet that down, see what it looks like. Looks about like that right there. And we'll buff that off a little bit right there. That'd be all right. Uh, next step is to braise our pivot point on. Let's get to that. Just went on ahead and drilled out another one of them there. It's one inch, one inch that way. Seven sixteenths hole in it there. I will use that to weld on to the handle. Yeah, I got a real soft flame right there. Uh, but it's, it, it gets real hot. In that big old mass of one inch steel right there, you have to get a lot of heat in there. And I just, you know, kind of visualized that right there, looked at it over that way, you know, and then kind of looked at it across that way. So I think we could go there. That's that 1018 steel right there. You know what, I believe I'm going to need a little more heat on that right there. Very windy.
Now let's do some more braising. We'll put us a What we're going to do is take this strapping right here and we're going to braise it down yonder real good. And then we'll put this little, this little toe on here. Like that. And then that toe will be right there and all that will be braised together really good. And then we'll braise it right here. And then we'll come down and attach it up there. Well, as I was a filling of that right there, there's a little burr on that, and that was the angle of that sanding disc. Where the burr was, so it wasn't right. So, you know, take a file to there. The rain. For sure it is. It ain't beginning to rain, it is raining. Enough to where it's time to go in. You, you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna turn that in for grade right there. That's about good as I can do. When it, when it comes to metal working, I'm gonna turn it in for grade. A no blueprint. Y'all, every, everyone's been along for the ride. No blueprint. Nothing but a sketch on a workbench and this is what it came to My entry, if grizzly tools made cat hooks, I think this is what it would look like.
If Grizzly Tools made a can hook, that's what it would look like. You know, if you're going to build one of anything, you should build two. Just say it.